Happy Halloween, Eagles fans. I'm Chris McPherson, and welcome inside the NovaCare Complex for this week's one-on-one -on -one presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. And of course, we got to bring in the man of the hour himself, wide receiver Golden Tate. And Golden, from the jump, what I love about you is that as soon as you were traded, you wasted no time whatsoever changing the Twitter bio. You posted the Rocky gift. Some people might be apprehensive about change, but you seem like you've embraced this wholeheartedly. Yeah, um, I'm not a believer in looking back. Um, you know, it was time to move forward, and, and that's what I'm going to do. And I don't think that's fair to um, my teammates and, and, and this fan base to, to be upset about what had happened. Or, you know, I just want to move forward. Um, I'm here now. Um, I'm excited to win. I'm excited to, to help this organization and bring the city together even more and just do my job. Uh, that's all I want to do. Love it so much right from the very jump there. Now, in 2014, you signed with Detroit. You had your say in terms of where you got to go, whereas you were traded yesterday to the Eagles. So what have the last 24 hours been like for you dealing with the emotions and all the stuff that happens behind the scenes in terms of relocating family and trying to figure out where you're going to live and get your life started here? You know, it's, it's, it's been uh, an overload. Um, things happen very, very quickly, um, but things are actually happening perfect. Um, you know, we're actually on bye week, which actually helps me out so much um, as far as um, grasping everything that's going on, um, getting my family uh, to pack up and get here. Um, I get a head start on the playbook, um, for me at least, and, you know, just getting used to everything as much as I can. So once Monday comes, I'm ready to just focus on football um, versus, you know, this all happening yesterday or today or yesterday, hopping on a plane, doing a you know, physical or press and then be out on practice and just having to figure it all out as on the fly. I actually can come up with a game plan on how I want to, you know, maximize my opportunity once Monday comes. And thankfully, I have an all-star wife that's going to kind of manage all the other stuff. It's a good person to bring up there. Make sure yeah. you thank the wife first and foremost. Yeah. Very important lesson for men out there. Now, we should have realized that this pairing was mount, bound to happen because I'm sure you know this, and a lot of Eagles fans might not. The last game of the 2017 season, the Detroit Lions ran the Philly Special before the Philly Special was the Philly Special. And you played the role of Trey Burton on that play. You mm -hmm. had to flip the field because you're left-handed, whereas Trey Burton's right-handed. Mm -hmm. But did you recall seeing that play in the Super Bowl and thinking to yourself, we just did that for a two-point conversion at the end of the season against the Packers? Yeah, I definitely remember it um, very well. And at the time, I was very upset that they called it the Philly Special because I knew that we had just done it, you know, I guess a month prior to that. So I was not happy about it. But now it's okay. <laughs> so now you're part of the Eagles, so it makes no difference whatsoever. Yeah. So, go. you won a Super Bowl with Seattle. You had a lot of individual success with the Lions, but not a lot in terms of playoff success. Mm -hmm. What does it mean for you to come to Philadelphia, a team that's coming off a Super Bowl win and poised to make some noise in the second half of the season? I'm, I'm excited to be here, and um, the way I see it is we're right there in the mix, right where we want to be. Um, I think uh, there's some guys that are injured that we're going to get back that's going to help us, and um, I just want to put my head down and work. Um, try to fit in any way I possibly can and just help this team win because at the end of the day, um, I think the, the reason I'm here is to help us win and I think the guys are expecting me to come in and just do my job and fit in, you know, however it may be. Um, so I'm going to use all my knowledge to, to learn this material, help the guys around me, um, and just I think this is the time to get hot. Um, it's November now just about and, you know, I think the really good teams start playing some of their best football right now, rolling over into December and January, and that's where we want to be. So I'm just going to do my job the best I possibly can. And, you know, I love, I love the talent that we have on this team. Um, I'm excited to be around, you know, Zach and Carson, um, Alsh uh, Alshon, Nelly. Um, I've had the time to spend some time with, the, with Gro, and I'm, I'm a position coach. I absolutely love Doug, even before, <laughs> you know, before this week. Um, and just, I'm just ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to win ball games. I'm ready to win a lot. I'm ready to go in the playoffs because that's why we do all this work uh, dating back all the way to April. Um, it's for the playoffs and those crunch moments. And I think, you know, this, this team has, some, has a chance to do something special again. I'm getting goosebumps hearing you say these Me things, too. My so. voice is like changing. I'm like starting <laughs> to shake. You can feel the energy in the building here because yeah. you're in Philly. What does it mean to have Carson Wentz as a quarterback to aid you in that transition? I mean, it's, it's been fun just watching him uh, so far. He's, he's dealt with some adversity, no doubt. Um, but 
but he's a grinder. He loves to grind. Um, he's going to put, put – I've heard that he demands – um, the huddle, and that's important as a quarterback and as a leader of a, of an organization. So um, he's versatile. He can do a lot. He can make any throw. He can make something uh, happen on his feet. Um, he's got a bunch of talent around him. But uh, you know, I'm coming in, hope uh, excited to watch him lead us and, and be a part of that. Um, but you know, I, one of the things I, I got to say I'm most fired up about is this Philly fan base. Um, you know, I've always known that. Philly fan base for all their sports, super passionate, um, and, and a player like me, I, I feed off of passionate people, um, and I'm just excited to be a part of that. So I can't wait to see uh, see our, our fan base uh, ready to go next next Sunday against a, a divisional team, the Cowboys. Not just any divisional team, the Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboys. So, man, I I just can't wait. I cannot wait. So I'm, I'm thankful to be here and just know. Uh, Philly, that I'm coming here to work and help us win and win a lot. So you can count on me. Three words. Fly Eagles fly. Fly Eagles fly. All about. Let's go, baby. So that midnight green coat and everything. Golden is ready to go. Golden Tate, the new Eagles wide receiver. Thank you so much for joining us here inside the studio for our one-on-one presented by Bob's Discount Furniture here on PhiladelphiaEagles.com.